Once upon a time, in a picturesque valley, nestled amidst serene mountains and verdant woods, lay a monastery. This monastery was home to monks who practiced meditation and sought inner peace. Among them was a young monk named Ananda. Ananda had a peculiar habit. Every time he faced an obstacle, be it emotional, spiritual, or physical, he would rush to share it with his fellow monks. He believed in the therapeutic power of sharing. He would narrate in minute detail his struggles, the emotion he felt, and how he managed to, or sometimes failed to, overcome the situation. One day, after a particularly challenging meditation session, Ananda approached the venerable Master Lin, the oldest and wisest monk in the monastery. He started recounting his experiences, expecting some words of encouragement or advice. However, this time, Master Lin interrupted him. Why, Ananda, do you share every bead of sweat and tear with others? Surprised, Ananda replied, By sharing I feel lighter, and I gain perspectives on my struggles. Master Lin gently nodded. It is true that sharing can lighten the heart. But do you not see? When you frequently narrate your struggles, you live them over and over again. Every time you share your story, you give life to that emotion, that problem, making it stronger and more vivid in your mind. Ananda pondered over the words and replied, But Master, by discussing them, I get solutions. Master Lin looked deep into Ananda's eyes and said, Every experience, good or bad, is a lesson. Instead of incessantly sharing them, reflect upon them. The real solution, Ananda, lies within you. When you constantly share... You're looking for validation or solutions from the external world. This diminishes your own ability to heal and grow. Taking a deep breath, Ananda absorbed the wisdom. He realized he had become addicted to the act of sharing, mistaking it for healing. From that day on, Ananda began to change. He didn't stop sharing entirely, but became more selective. He spent more time in introspection, finding solutions from within. Over time, he felt more empowered and in control of his emotions. Years later, Ananda became a revered teacher in the same monastery. When young monks approached him with their stories, he would often say, Before you share your tale with me, ask yourself, Have I looked deep within? Have I truly understood the lesson? You see, in life, in this life, while it is important to share and express ourselves, we should also understand the value of introspection and self-reflection. Continually narrating our experiences to others can sometimes hold us back from truly understanding and learning from them. Instead, if we take time to introspect, to listen to our own inner voice, we can uncover a wealth of wisdom that enables personal growth and resilience. By focusing on understanding and learning from our experiences, rather than merely sharing them, we can cultivate an inner strength that guides us through life's challenges. This is Ask Motive Story. Thank you for watching and stay blessed.